Size is relative, and so is scale. Sometimes you need an object to be bigger, or to be smaller than what it is. In order to do that, you can use the scale command. The scale command will change the size of an object or objects according to a scale factor. That factor can be any type of positive and non-zero number. You can scale something by a factor of 2 or by a factor of 0 0.5. Open up the scale examples file. Here we have two boxes. One looks like a square, the other on the bottom looks more like a rectangle. Let's look at the top. The scale command is found right here in the modify panel on the home tab in the ribbon. Or you can type in the word scale or just the two letters SC. Not the letter S, that will be stretch. That's another command we're going to look at that's extremely useful. But the scale command is very simple to use. Start the command, press enter, and then select your objects. We're going to pick everything here, all of these lines. Press enter, and now you need to pick a reference point. This point is typically a place on the object, but not always, and it will stay here. So if I pick the end of this box, or this bottom left-hand corner, that point will stay as it is and where it is. But as I scale up or down, as you can see, the box becomes larger or smaller. I'm going to turn off my running O snaps by pressing F3 because they're going to get in the way right now. I don't necessarily want to snap to something, but I can if I want, but right now I don't want to. Okay, so our base point will remain stationary. That's a reference point, and everything will be scaled according to the number that we give it, the scale factor and be referenced by that scale from that point we picked. Now your second point is the scale amount, or the scale factor. As I move away from that point, AutoCAD registers a distance. That's the scale factor. As you can see, the number on my dynamic input changes. Right now, it's right at about 2.8 or 3.2. So it's right around a factor of 3. So this box is 3 times larger than the original. That's what it does. If I were to type in the number 1, it would remain the same because it's a scale factor of 1. If I want the box to be twice as big, I type in the number 2, press enter. Now the box is twice as big. If I want something to be smaller, I select everything, pick my base point, and if I want to be half as small, returning it back to its original size, I type in a decimal, then a number, in this case 0.5. And it's back to where it was. Anything less than the number 1 in a scale factor will make the object smaller. Anything greater than 1 will make them bigger. If you want to keep the original, you can use the copy option. Select your objects, press enter, select your base point, and now you'll see on the command line that there is an option for copy. Pick it, or type in the letter C, type in the number 2. So our original is still there, but now we have a new one that's twice as big. Now here's a trick that I've used to divide things into different sizes with the scale factor. Let's say I want to draw this box. It's made up of four different lines. And let's say that I want to draw two more vertical lines in this box so that I have three equal sections. So one here and one here, approximately. Let's use the scale command to help us out. Say, well, how is that going to happen? Well, I'll show you. Since I want to divide this up into three equal sections, I can use the scale command on this top line and reduce it by one third. Now, you don't have to put in a decimal. You can put in a fraction, one-third, press enter, and now this line is one-third of what it used to be. If I use the copy command, I'll show you. Turn on my running O snaps again so I don't have to type them in. Grabbing the endpoint, turning off my ortho, snap once, snap twice, I'm back to where I was. Three equal sections. Now I can use my copy command again, but this time copy this leg, snap to my endpoints of those lines, and there you go. 
I have no idea how long this side of the box is, but I do know that I just divided it up into three equal parts. That's a neat trick that you can use with the scale command. 